Here's Anna. Anna suffers from cystic fibrosis, one of the many mucoobstructive diseases that cause respiratory disorders. Mucoobstructive diseases currently motivate a lot of research effort around the globe. In his lab, Harry investigates these respiratory disorders and their potential treatments. Today, he understands quite well the origin and the main clinical outcomes of mucoobstructive diseases. But there are still grey areas, especially to understand the biophysical factors contributing to Anna's bronchial congestion. To enlighten them, a novel technique is emerging, mucus rheology. Mucus is secreted within the bronchi, at the surface of the epithelium. It is mainly composed of water, mucins, cellular debris and DNA fragments. Its major function is to trap inhaled toxins and to transport them out of the lung and therefore protect the epithelial surfaces from these external aggressions. However, in mucoobstructive diseases, the mucus is altered. For example, in cystic fibrosis, the mucus becomes thicker due to low hydration caused by a mutation of the CFTR gene. In other cases, the mucus becomes stiffer due to mucin oversecretions and high inflammation level. These structural changes in the mucus lead to mucociliary clearance impairment, resulting in airway obstruction which may have serious consequences. At Rionova, we developed RioMuco, a rheometer dedicated to the viscoelastic characterization of the mucus. Two rotating plates exert a shear displacement and measure a resulting shear force. The obtained properties, elasticity and viscosity, constitute a physical fingerprint of the mucus. Under low shear, mucus behaves like a soft elastic solid. The structure remains intact and would regain shape if the strain ceased. The mucus behavior allows Harry to understand its molecular nature, more specifically, the physical and chemical bonds which contribute to the mucus consistency. Under higher shear, mucus deforms irreversibly and shifts to a viscous liquid behavior at the so-called flow point. Beyond this point, the mechanical solicitation are high enough to degrade the sample and to make it flow. This measurement tells us about the mucus flowing ability. Investigating the rheological behavior of the mucus enlightens Harry on its biophysical and biochemical structure. Those aspects are essential to understand the disease physiopathology and support the development of drugs and delivery systems. Now, Harry has a novel standpoint to compare the efficacy of treatments with standards and connect the mechanisms of actions of the drugs to the mucus structure. Mucus rheology, a fast and easy to operate test, provides a novel insight into the mucus structure in complement with current analytical methods in fundamental clinical research.